All right, guys, this is a video on how to fix this issue that most people will not have. And this is when you are a, on a dual PC setup and running a capture card and trying to record your gameplay or whatever it is on your uh, recording PC. And um, I did not see other people having this issue. This is an issue that I've, I saw myself and I tried to look it up and nobody was talking about it. So what you see in the screen right now is how the game should look like. Um, my cursor size is about the size of the text on my screen. And the sense on my mouse is the sense that I am used to in Windows. So if you guys don't know, the cursor on this window on the game is the sense that you have in Windows. So whatever sense you change in Windows, you will also change the cursor sense in the game. This is not the sense that you have when you're in the game, running running around the map and shooting. That is adjusted by the your options and going to your sense in there. But when you're using your cursor on any menu or the buy station or on the map, this is the when the issue comes up. So let me unplug this the cable and you will see the issue. All right, I unplugged the cable. It takes a second to Okay. Let me bring up the game again. Okay, here's back to the game. Do you notice anything different? My cursor is double the size that I used to be. And this sense that I have right now, it's a lot slower than I was before. Actually, it's, I mean, it's a lot faster than it was before. So it's, it's harder for me to pick on the things. So if I was in the game trying to pick on something on the map or trying to buy something in a store, uh, it would not, it would be a lot harder because I would miss because this sense is not the sense that I have in windows and this sense I'm not used to. And I'm not sure why the cursor is double the size, but it does get double the size. So what cable that I unplug? I unplugged the HDMI out from the capture card and that was plugged in to the monitor. The monitor has two HDMI ins and one display port in. And when I was recording only with having the HDMI in on the capture card recording from that source, this is the issue that I have. The, the cursor is double the size and the sense is off. I could not figure out why this issue was happening and other people don't have the issue or other people have the issue, but they don't notice that that was an issue. But for me, it was an issue because I am in windows more than I'm in the game. So I'm very used to how my sense should be. So what the problem was, let me plug in the cable again. Okay, this cable is going to take a second. It came back. Now my cursor is back to the size it should be. My sense is back to the size it should be. And everything is perfect now. The issue was not having the HDMI out from the capture card going to the monitor. Now, I am not using the HDMI out from the monitor to view the game. I am using DisplayPort. It's, I'm not sure what kind of information is sent through the HDMI and it relays what kind of screen you have or what kind of resolution it supports, but I'm sure that there's something going through the HDMI cable that lets the game or Windows know. And it's not my settings because I can go to my display settings 
I have everything cloned. Everything is at 1440. Everything is fine. If I go to the advanced displays, uh, it's still 1440, 144 hertz. And if I go to the second display, which is the capture card, it's still 1440. And when I unplug the cable, it all everything stays the same. There's nothing that changes. Um, and even in the game, if I go back to the game, go here to graphics. It's still full screen. My monitor, everything is normal. The only thing different is the cable is unplugged. So if you guys are having a problem with this, um, I don't know if this is an issue with other games. I mostly play Warzone right now. So if you have other issues with another game, then please comment down below. But this is the issue that I am having with Warzone, which is not an issue anymore. It's been solved. So uh, if you have a capture card that has like one of the USB capture cards, like an Elgato or Avermedia capture card that's only USB and has an HDMI in. Actually, I did buy one of the, the first capture card I bought was an Avermedia with HDMI in and a USB out. And I had the same issue and I returned it and bought a, um, the Avermedia 4K, which has an HDMI in and it has an HDMI out and it's a PCI card. So, um, I didn't, when I first started using it, I did not have the HDMI out connected to anything because most people said that you don't need to have it connected, but you do need to have it connected. Apparently there's something that is passed through the the, the, the HDMI cable to the monitor and I don't know, Windows or I don't know what stupid setting it has. But that fixed the settings, whatever setting needed to be fixed, having the monitor plugged in. And like I said, the monitor's plugged in, but the cable is not being used. I'm not sure what other people capture card are, are but if it doesn't have an HDMI out, I guess I wouldn't recommend it. But also, if you're on a controller, I think it wouldn't matter because you can use everything on, in the game through the controller and the sense doesn't matter. You just go left, right, or up and down, you know? So I hope some this helps somebody out. And um, I will be trying to make other videos to help people out. Thank you.